मुलाकात हो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर रेड अबाउट दिस ऑक्सीजनेशन ऑफ ब्लड और हैव यू एवर थॉट हाउ आर ब्लड गेट्स ऑक्सीजनेटेड लाइक वेन वी रेड इन अवर सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम वी रेड दैट अवर ब्लड वॉज डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड एंड हाउ दिस ब्लड नाउ गेट्स ऑक्सीजनेटेड we have only read it about uh, only read it up to the when the blood reaches our lungs only that now i am to i am going to continue this topic for the for the after now first of all for every thing for every process which is in science there is a system at the back now today which system is related to this oxygenation of blood so this system is known as respiratory system this respiratory system what is this respiratory system have you ever have heard about it now this respiratory system respiratory system is that type of system which has three main processes first process is inhalation exhalation and exchange of gases today i am going to talk about this respiratory system this respiratory system is also having some parts as in circulatory system it was part excretory system it was part digestive system it they they was having parts same like that respiratory system is also having parts now i will give a brief introduction about every part of this respiratory system first of all nostrils nostrils are the first nostrils here the first step occurs when we inhale the air so these nostrils are having here that are the dust particles that are the dust particles here after that in the nostrils of nostrils there is nasal cavity <coughs> nasal cavity has a mucus present which moisturizes the air after that there is pharynx pharynx is a tube like structure which connects this nasal cavity with the trachea have you ever thought that why we cough when we eat food sometimes why we cough if we are thinking here and there if we are wandering here and there then if we in our mind if we are wandering here and there and we are eating like that food why we cough do you know it how this is because sometimes that food get to our trachea because trachea is also that trachea is somehow close to the close to the uh, esophagus now when this food gets into our trachea we need to cough more and more because this this uh, rice rice should or some food which we eat should get out from our tra- trachea after that is trachea 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 is a tube like is a tube like structure which is also known as windpipe. This windpipe is the part is that part which supplies into the true two bronchi which then get enters into the two lungs. This trachea get is divided as I said into the two bronchi. These two bronchi get into the two lungs. When these two bronchi get into the two lungs, after that, furthermore, it get is divided into the many many bronchi bronchioles. These bronchioles. are then divided from the bronchi to our lungs these bronchi at the, at the last of a bronchi there are small sac like structures which are shaped like a grape grape shape shaped like structures which are known as alveoli as we have read in our excretory system that the main filtration happens with the with the help of nephron same like that alveoli also filters our blood uh, also oxygenates our blood now we will learn how it happens when this when this uh, oxygen gets into the alveoli up to alveoli at the surface of alveoli there are small capillaries small capillaries which get yeah, which uh, get oxygen attracted with them how that happens as you read that blood blood contains iron and this iron get is attack uh, this iron has some relation has some relations with oxygen with the help of iron these these of this oxygen get this attracted with the iron and gets into the blood do you know a fact that there is the 21% of oxygen only in our only in the air which we breathe in good because we don't know which we are breathing we don't know we are breathing uh, we are breathing oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen what we are breathing we don't know that but only 21% oxygen is present in the air which we breathe in this 21% this 21% oxygen is responsible for the oxygenation of blood i hope you have understood it well thank you